Hannah was one of two wives of a man named Elkanah. The other wife, Peninnah, had children, but Hannah remained childless, which caused her great sadness. Every year, Elkanah would go to Shiloh to worship and offer sacrifices to the Lord. During these visits, Hannah would become deeply distressed and weep because of her inability to have children. On one such occasion, Hannah went to the tabernacle to pray and make her plea to the Lord. She was in such anguish that she cried and could not eat. In her desperation, Hannah made a vow to God, promising that if he were to give her a son, she would dedicate him to the service of the Lord all his days. Eli, the high priest, saw Hannah praying silently with her lips moving, but no sound coming out. He initially thought she was drunk and confronted her. Hannah explained that she was pouring out her soul to the Lord and shared her deep longing for a child. Eli blessed her, assuring her that God would grant her request. In due time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son whom she named Samuel, which means, heard by God. Hannah rejoiced in the miracle granted to her by God. After Samuel was weaned, Hannah fulfilled her vow by bringing him to the tabernacle to serve in the presence of the Lord. She entrusted him to Eli, reminding him of her prayer and dedication. Hannah then offered a beautiful prayer of thanksgiving to God, expressing her joy and gratitude for his faithfulness. In her prayer, she praised God for his sovereignty, his wisdom, and his power. She declared that the Lord gives and takes away, exalting his ability to bring transformation and grant blessings to those who trust in him. God blessed Hannah and Elkanah with more children in the subsequent years, but Samuel remained special to Hannah as he grew in favor with both God and man. Samuel later became a revered prophet, judge, and priest, playing a significant role in the history of Israel. The story of Hannah illustrates her steadfast faith and fervent prayers. She demonstrated deep trust in the Lord, and he honored her persistence, granting her the desire of her heart and blessing her with a remarkable son who would serve God faithfully.